video. This is crazy. This is crazy. Some of had dark circles in Mars, but I don't. Crazy man. This is crazy. This is this is insane. Insane. This is making sports history. And correct me if I'm wrong about any details. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll make amendments. An ex-pro rider who's riding for a few different teams um, pleaded guilty. Said, "Yep, a blood dope." I'm pretty sure that's what he said. He did. Blood doping. What's blood doping? It's when you take your own blood out, chuck it in the freezer, chuck it in the fridge, and then reintroduce it back before a competition. The goal to increase your hemoglobin balance, to increase more blood in your body, which means that you can push harder and get more watts, more bang for your buck. So you can perform better at your job that you paid to do. Now apparently, that's sporting fraud. And this guy has been sentenced to prison, which is, this is a landmark situation. I think it's absolutely appalling, an absolute joke that a professional athlete who's doping or whatever has to go to prison and a 350,000 euro fine. That's an absolute joke. This is professional sports. This is entertainment. Who cares if they take stuff to do their job better? Right. Now, now, if you if you're doing if you're riding dangerously, if you're doing sports dangerously, aggressively, violent, then yeah, okay, there's context for that, right? Punishments where punishments due, but for doping, man, this is an absolute joke. People are like, oh no, yeah, it's clean sport. First, there's no such thing as clean sport, even in friggin' Div Three here, Div One, Div Two, running like swimming, tennis, everyone's using something, you know. I don't I don't use drugs, but you're on Ritalin. <laughs> you're on birth control. You're on prescription medication from your doctor. You know, it's like those things are incredibly performance enhancing. You know, like women using the birth control pill, that's a, a huge performance enhancement. Because, one, you're getting bone density okay because you can just smash your training out. And then you have thyroid medication, which is an incredible stimulant. It lets you do mutant training and mut like thyroid meds. That's insane powerful drug control, uh, doping control there, you know, like it's insane, I'm not here to judge anyone say it's bad or wrong, I'm just saying that you know, everyone's, not everyone, but 99% of people out there are taking some sort of drug for performance benefit, no, I'm just taking it for my health, what do they think these pro riders are doing, they're taking stuff for the health as well, do you think it's healthy to, you know, to race for three weeks in the Tour de France and just totally crash your, your cortisone and your cortisol and your, you know, like your your hemoglobin just to tank you basically giving yourself anemia so it's like these things people take it's for one for their health two so they can do what they're paid to do better and give us the viewer more entertainment now they're saying you're, you're contradictory you're always calling out these fake netties you know what's the difference between a fake netty on instagram making money off teenage kids who think they're natty you know what's the difference between that and a, a pro cyclist or a pro swimmer you know taking epo or blood doping to, to win you know, what's the difference? There is a big difference. Like, I'm under zero illusion that anyone out there is natty. Like, I don't go and buy a, you know, a giant bike or a Trek bike or a Cannondale or Pinarello or whatever because I'm thinking, wow, I'm going to ride like them if I use their bike. That's, <laughs> no one even thinks so. Even when I sold bikes, Trek bikes back in the day, you know, we sold so many bikes because of Lance. And I still make money today because of Lance. Lance is the tide that rises all the boats, man. Everyone's boat was risen by Lance, so Lance deserves that. Um, you know, and Lance tried to destroy people's lives. No, Lance went after people who went after him. You know, he, he, you throw a punch at Lance, he throws a punch back. Is there anyone out there that Lance threw a punch first? I don't know. I can't remember that, you know what I mean? Did he do some douchey things? For sure, and we all did. Um, did he pay for that? Yeah, he did. He got a lot of negative backlash and stuff, so, you know. But, it's, I think it's just a fantastic example of how wrong we are in society that will put someone in prison who's doing, who's taking their blood out and putting it back in under, under the pretense of sporting fraud. When the the team I am even said, we're not going to make a claim here because they got good value out of it. Like if your rider wins a race with your sponsorship and then they get caught five years later, no, no one cares because the, 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 the fame and the, TV and the billboards and the marketing money was recouped back then. 
I mean, look how much money Trek made because of Lance, or Oakley, or Nike, or US Postal, how much money they made from Lance and the, and the crew, you know what I mean? Think how much money Travis Tiger made off Lance. Everyone made money off Lance. Everyone, there's still a lot of people, not everyone, but we're still making money off Lance. So drugs make money. They make it's great entertainment. They increase your health. Some do, some don't. But again, there's risks as well. You get risk, you take too much, you get a health condition. So it's like, you know, you don't take enough, you can have health issues. Take too much, you can have health issues. Goldilocks, you're pretty much good. Um, so I think this is wrong. We're putting this guy in prison with rapists and you know legit criminals, violent people, and stuff like that. Like this is this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. Um, you know, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. And here's the here's the irony. Like this guy's taking drugs. I don't even know he's taking drugs. He's taking. You would you you know, would have, but um. You know, take him stuff, doing things to enhance his job productivity, which is pretty much everyone out there. Oh, I'm tired at work. Boss, can I have a sleep? Get a cup of coffee. There's a coffee machine over there. Get your coffee in there. Take your modafinil pills. Take your Ritalin pills. Take your Dexys. Take your Adderall. You know what I mean? What do you mean you're going to have a lay down? Take your go for smokes. Do something. Take some drugs so you can go back to work and do what you got to do. Do what you're paid to do. Hey, dog, I'm, uh, dog boss, I'm really tired today. I'm just going to sleep in, eh? I'll oh, come over later on, eh? <laughs> no. Smash a coffee, get back to work, you know? Truck drivers taking pills to stay awake. Like, you know, the, imagine how much coffee and stimulants were consumed in this court case, you know? If it went to trial, you know what I mean? Like, how much smart drugs are taken by lawyers and barristers and stuff out there? How much? A lot. How much cocaine is in the legal profession? How many barristers out there and lawyers, you know, like, to do their job better? Stockbrokers, it's, it's rampant and it's just a big joke. So I find these stories incredibly interesting at a social level. But I hope this guy does. I hope this is, I hope this is a joke. I hope he doesn't go to prison. Um, it's, just, it's just crazy, man. I believe that we should, the truth should be known that drugs are in sport. And drugs are what make champions. You will never ever be a champion unless you're using, unless you have access to a quality, experienced sports doctor. You won't, you won't ever, ever, uh, any sport, running, swimming, maybe at the university games, maybe at your local Wyoming state champs. Okay, you could be the, the champion there. But I'm talking the big money, swimming, running, tennis, cycling. You know, it's not going to happen. All the big names. You just have to, man. If you don't, you won't cope. If you don't, don't, you won't cope. And so I think if we had that public education, we could increase athlete safety by just making it all legal, all free for all, you know? And then it's then it's good. Then the athlete has that no stress because there's someone's knocking at the door, they have to worry about, shit, will I get pinged, you know? Or, just, or, or someone dobbing them in. Most of the time, people don't get tested positive. They Someone dobs them in or whatever. It's just a little, you know, like this... Adelaide's case, or whatever it's called, you know, someone got busted. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's just crazy. So that's the solution. Same with like cocaine. Look at the the drug wars out there. You know what I mean? Leg cocaine should be legalized. Oh no, that's crazy. You have kids doing coke. On the They're already doing that. But what we do by legalizing something, we make it super cheap, and all of a sudden, all the crime and violence that goes with it just poof, drops down like ninety five percent. Can you imagine if cocaine cost a dollar a kilo? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, the world would be a better place. The world would literally be a better place if coke was a dollar a kilo or five bucks a kilo. Like, where would the... You know what I mean? Do you imagine, can you imagine how much safer Mexico, Colombia, Peru would be if all drugs were like dollar, two dollars, ten bucks a kilo? You know what I mean? It would just make the world... But that's too much logic. No, 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 no. You want to have a sec to me? You got to... We got to book you in and go... Da, 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 in a faff around. You want to take contraceptive pill? Eh, no worries, mate. Here you go. We'll, in, we'll encourage you to take it. Oh, you're 15. You got a couple of pimples? Here, take steroids. It's called estrogen and progesterone. And when you have... If you have breast cancer when you're 35... Wasn't linked to the pill, was it? You know what I mean? So it's... 
I, I, I don't understand it. Going to prison because you took some blood out to put it back in so you could do your job better. Oh, what about the guys who are doing it now? Everyone knows, man. You don't become a pro cyclist or a pro swimmer and think, wow, these guys, this is, you know, like you have a choice. It's all about choice. And so there's people out there, there's definitely pro cyclists out there who are 100% natty, full natty bra. And they're probably ones you've never ever heard of, you know? And they're, they're just the bottle carriers. Well, I'll say just the bottle carriers. I mean, but they're, if those guys were on 6.8 kilo bikes instead of these stupidly heavy aero bikes with disc brakes and, and you put them on the same, you know, regime and program, then they would, they would become extra hitters as well. So not everyone is on the program, you know? And some people on the program longer than during the year, some people, some people respond better on the program. Yeah, let's say, and let's spell this. It's not fair. Jumping's not fair. Ooh. What about the people out there in Kenya, etc., who could be good cyclists, but they can't afford to, you know? Because, you know, cycling's a, an expensive sport. So that's, is that fair? It's not fair, you know? What, what if I've got a twin brother and he had sex with a girl who said she was on the pill and she wasn't or didn't work, and now she's pregnant and her body, her choice, she's got a baby. And now he's paying child support, hypothetically. And now he's racing as well, but now he's got to provide for a kid. And I can spend all day doing my little thing, training and recovering, but my twin brother, hypothetically, has a kid to care for. He has to go to work. He's actually got a few more kids coming on the way. So he's just like, oh my God, stress, you know? And then his testosterone level is dropping down. His hemoglobin is dropping down. His recovery is tanked because he has to provide for his kids. Now, what if his hemoglobin drops down and his test levels drop down? And mine are up here with twins. Now, what if he takes some testosterone or maybe some EPO and gets his levels up to where they would be normally? Is he cheating? Yes, he is, based on the societal level. But really, all he's doing is he's bringing himself back up to where he would be otherwise. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you've got people out there who are taking so much that they're at an <laughs> insanely mutant level. You know? And is that cheating? Well, everyone else can do that as well. So it's a choice what you want to make, you know. Um, people, oh, but no, 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 no. Like, this, this is where people just make it. I'll lose subscribers. Yeah, probably a few hundred of you would have unsubscribed in this video because you don't like truth. And I don't care, you know. I'm not here to insulate my ego with noobs who just give me compliments like, hey, dude, you're the best. And it's nice when I hear that, but I'd rather educate you, tell you exactly what's going on out there so you're no longer walking through the world with blinkers on and going, wow, yeah, wow, cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's painful, man. To be ignorant is pain. Ignorance is pain because you get misled and go down the wrong track in life and your life just sucks compared to if you're going through life with 2020, you know, reality-driven precision eyesight, you know, where you're just like, reality, whoa, reality, the truth, wow, that's clarity. Jeez, mamma mia. That's what I love. That's how I live my life. So, you know, this is just how it is, man. This is what we're living. It's 2021. 2021. Look what's going on. All right. It is cutthroat out there. It is cutthroat. So if you think any of your sporting heroes, ice hockey, basketball, MMA, UFC, cycling, running, swimming, tennis, you know, boxing, bodybuilders... If you think anyone out there at the top, top is natty, none of your gurus are. None of your idols are. They aren't. Now, where I think people should go to prison, mm, maybe not even prison, but just should be, they should be named and shamed, is these fake natties out there. They shouldn't go to prison. They should be, athletics, etc. should be made to pay back all the money that they took from their noob audiences, from the e-books and the creatine and the protein powders. All those kids out there who spent their hard-earned money or mummy's hard-earned, daddy's hard-earned money on the, you know, the programs, the Matt Does Fitness programs, etc. Under the impression that these guys are natty, in my opinion, maybe they just found Jesus. You know, that that they those people should be, you know, exposed. Um, not exposed in that sense, but just like education. Like these people ain't natty. These people found Jesus. You know, like whatever. That's what I feel. That's his education. Because how many kids out there today? are like starving themselves, overtraining, busting up their joints, doing deadlifts. I heard the other day on social media that a girl's in a wheelchair now because she's doing, you know, she's doing a 70 kilo squat, you know, and she slipped 
and that I would say based you know she was doing keto or something like that so just like and then it just you know she puts pretty rule shit like how unfortunate is that because she's probably watching someone out there going wow I can do this and and cop tried to copy that you know and just had a, had a really really bad uh, experience in that so that's where I think if we're going to go after people then we should go after the fake natties and say look you know all that money you've taken you know you're stuffing mattresses full of noob cash come on pay it back share it back around the truth's got to come out. Athlean X, fake weights, and all that stuff. We just, you know, and it's no hate to these people, but it's just like, that's just, that's fraud, in my opinion. That's fraud. Where you're claiming natty. <laughs> Overtly claiming natty. You're not making a joke like, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I just found Jesus. Like, you're actually saying, I'm natural. And kids are going, wow, like, if I buy your program, I'll look like that if I train hard enough. You will never, ever look like them. Ever. Even the people they train full time, don't even look close to what they look like, right? That's the power of Jesus. So that's just the deal there, um, yeah. Anyway, that's the vid. I think it's crazy, man, that we're, you know, no athlete, an athlete out there, they're, they're, if you're a professional athlete, you're nothing but an entertainer. And I don't say that in a bad way, like you're nothing, no, you're an entertainer. Sport, what is sport? Professional sport is aggressive exercise funded by money to make more money. When they put on the Tour de France, when they put on the Olympics, etc., it's rich people investing in it to get a return. Return of interest, what do they call it? All right, so, and we're selling product, we're selling hats made in China, we're selling bikes made in China for, you know, whatever, and then there's insane markup, and you know, you think of the logistics and how much money's floating around out of sport, it's, it's big bucks, so, and the athletes are entertainers for us, but also marketing pawns for the product, all right? And if the athlete gets busted, the business is like, next, next athlete. We'll cut ties, send out an Instagram post, blah, 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 next, next athlete. You know, you're disposable, you know? And that, that, that's, that sucks, you know? So I think that we should just educate the society about what goes on. Not conspiracy theories, but actually what goes on. You know, this is the truth. And you won't hear many YouTube channels talk like this because maybe they don't know or they don't want to backlash or that's cool. You know, everyone's got their own deal. But uh, yeah, this is this is insane times. Oh. There's plenty of people who should be in prison. <laughs> but not some skinny cyclist who took his blood out so he could get a few seconds or a few minutes faster on his little carbon fiber bicycle that was made in China. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's a joke, man. But hey, the whole world's getting a joke, and I'm glad I had a vasectomy. Thanks for watching.